Now, most people who belong to a choir will tell you that singing with others helps their mental and physical health. And that's certainly the view of the Parkin Songsters, a Sussex choir for people living with Parkinson's disease. Now, the condition affects around 145,000 people across the UK. In fact, around one in every 37 people in the country will receive a Parkinson's diagnosis in their lifetime. That makes it the fastest growing neurological condition condition in the world. There is no cure, but people affected now have near normal life expectancy. Yetende Yusuf has been to St Leonard's to meet the Parkin songsters and find out how singing together helps them all. In perfect harmony, united by their love of singing, the Parking Songsters are a choir making a real impact. And as the name suggests, most members of the group have Parkinson's, but their experiences are very different. I don't really have a tremor, so people say, oh, are you sure you've got Parkinson's? You're not, you're not trembling. For Julie and Paul, singing has helped to reduce the impact of their symptoms, with the vocal and breathing exercises particularly beneficial. People with Parkinson's often get very soft-voiced, so we do exercises that work on the diaphragm and enable us to kind of push out the sounds that we make. That's really the main thing. So it's useful in general conversation day to day. It gives you strength to kind of firm up the diaphragm. And, and you've noticed the difference? Oh yeah, I mean, I always walk out better after the mm. class than I do at the beginning. Mm. In charge of musical direction is Jane Metcalf, who helped start the group 12 years ago. A former opera singer herself, she knows how to get the best from each voice. When you've had to develop your voice as an opera singer, you learn how to use certain muscles and certain ways of singing and projection that you might not necessarily do if you were just, you know, everyday singing. So you learn all of the things that I do teach uh, in the group, some of my exercises. Um, they're always weird. The Parking Songsters perform two or three concerts a year, raising money for Parkinson's UK. And since the pandemic, their profile has grown and they've welcomed in new members. You don't have to do anything. If you feel like if you don't want to go do a concert, you don't have to. If you've got new people come and they're a bit wary, oh, a concert. But they don't, and then once they come, they realise it's such good fun. And, um, and the audience know of our condition. So they take that into consideration, you know. Raising awareness is important to the group, and if there's one thing they want us to take away... It's not the end of the world when you've got Parkinson's and, and, and you can live a normal life. As you are. As I am, yeah. And I amaze myself sometimes. I... Busting the myths and having a good time while they do it. Yetende Yusuf, BBC South East Today, St Leonard's.